Not sure where it comes from. Doesn't move too much. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Lots of articulation. Cannons up and down. This one looks like it's been glued. It's just dirty. That's for. Oh, oh. Mm. Hey, mess with that one too much, but this one moves. What? Just leave it alone though. Legs move. It's got underbelly cannons. Hell oh, yeah. Legs seem to move. I don't know if this is from a uh, game, tabletop game. But it's got a lot of little articulation in it. Uh, but when I did Star Celebration, I was still, well, I guess I'm still smaller, you do it, but then I was a micro, you do it. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, young man, they got a new warrant to get comfortable. You never see more Richard Titus. If my glasses are not lying to me. Looks like all the legs move. Has some kind of articulation. Oh yeah. Micro machines. The other ones I have, they move a little bit more. This one has limited articulation in the legs. Uh, let's see. Side opens up. The guns move. I think they might be upside down. Right. Should be on the other side. I'm not sure if that's movie accurate. Guns, nope. But we've got a little, little dude. Micro machine fella. Now, of course, he has articulation. And there you go. Get back in there. Pow. Alright. Have y'all seen this one before on the channel? Uh oh. Millennium Falcon. Well, the one I had originally back in like 82, 83. The cockpit would open up the canopy. This one does not look like it does, and I'm not going to try because I lost my. Also, I lost this and this, and there was nothing down there, but. Out of all the flyability of the Millennium Falcon you could possibly have. Of course, this is uh, made in Cincinnati, Ohio, but I do not see a date. 1979. See the date. 1979. I think one reason why I love this gun is with a lack of toys. I pulled it out. And you can notice that little section right there. Oh no. It spreads out. So I would take this as a separate vehicle. Or make it a separate vehicle. And take it out. Flip it open. And zoom around, and it got lost. That's 30 years ago. And this satellite dish, nice. Radar dish, I guess. Communication dish, probably. There we go. Uh, one of the other finds we've got. Little record book. Looks like this is from. I do not read Latin, but probably 1977 or 78. Looking pretty good. I always love these books for Disney. We had a little record player, 8 inch, 6 inch, whatever these are. And I think our parents bought us all, all of the uh, record players, uh, the records. 
for the Disney movies and some that were not Disney movies. This is pretty neat. It's got great photos. This right here and the Empire Strikes Back sketchbook I picked up on eBay. They threw this one in. The Empire Strikes Back sketchbook was something that I had lost after having it for about 20 or about 20 years. I don't remember this cover, but definitely the pictures that are in it, the sketches, I remember having. But in 1994 over in Turkey, it got ruined by the biggest flood they had in 20 years. But, yeah, there's some nice stuff here. We're halfway through the book, page 15. It is very raggy taggy. It's about to break, but the pictures are really good and crisp. But it's just the back and the front page or the title page are about to be destroyed. Let's see. I guess we have 21, 22, 23, 24 page booklet. Number 15, here we go, on. Here's a little, little uh, record. Uh, upstairs in the attic room video, or one of the attic room toy, attic toy room videos. You may have seen that we've got one of these already, but minus the book. So that's cool. Here we go, See the pictures and hear the record and read the book. Oh yeah, we do. Oh, the sketchbook. Incredible original drawing from the new chapter in the greatest space fantasy of all time. The Empire Strikes Back. Some pretty good stuff there. We might lay these guys down so we can watch this. And we'll see if anything is showing up properly. Yeah. Well, it's good, all right. Date on this is 1980. Got a nice little introduction. Thank you, Ed. Thanks, you guys. This one's pretty weathered. Got it off of eBay. But to relive childhood possession that was lost, we all do what we do. Gun turrets on Hoth. Imperial probe droid. So on page 13 now, Rebel Armored Snow Speeder. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see here. I'm just going to have to see if this is working. Yep. This one might shoot this in a different view. This is long version. We might shoot it in long Gerber version, horizontal instead of vertical. I might cover all this up with music. So y'all do have to hear my annoying voice. Oh yeah. We're going on page 23 and we're going to be on the Scout Walker. Prototype apparently. Get a little bit closer to what we know. Add it in the background. Something in the background there. Hmm. Different versions, prototypes of what the Scout Walker would look like for the ATST. Snow Walker, all terrain, armored, transport, the at at. It's got some nice history here. You can pause it if you want and read it. Looks like an early version of the turbo tank. Pre Walker tank idea for the Imperial Snow Trooper. It would have been cool. It's got tracks on it. So not a turbo tank, but pretty close. And now we're getting really close to an early Walker body and head. 
the more design there. And the way it would walk. Alright, the book goes through. I think we're going to finish this one up because I don't think y'all are going to get the full enjoyment from the tall version on the video as you would from the horizontal version. And I think this is a different version of the book than I had. I, mine were, mine was, looked like it had a different cover. It was a darker blue, it seems like, and a different design. If it was the same color, it was definitely a different design. So if any of you guys know, just leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll have to spend some more time on eBay. The other thing I was going to go over today was uh, a little toy grab there that we had from uh, Replay Toy Store. There's a whole lot of Playmobil stuff, but also the uh, Micro Machine. I'm kind of curious to go through that and thought I'd share it with you guys. I'm just checking these guys out. Oh, yeah. Well, let's start with these guys. Star Crusher. Oh, let's see. If y'all are getting a good view. That does not look... Oh, there we go. Nope. We are going to try to get a little better view. Alright, so this looks like it'll be better. See, that is awesome. We've got a little uh, Hoth Rebel anti-vehicle turret. X-Wing, plastic, and rubbery. They might need to get some straightening out done. Uh, let's see. Looks like something off of a different vehicle or set. I'm not sure what that goes to. I'm going to have to put that off to the side. Another slightly darker X-Wing, but the wings are closed on this one. Oh, no, nope, never mind. They are not closed. Actually, it does not move. Just rubber. We got our blue lightsaber, Luke Skywalker. Oh, we all know who that this is. Doom, 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 doom. I bet this is... Um, Nope, 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 nope. There he is. Luke. Coming out of his little doohickey. Of course, the Emperor. Looks like he goes probably in the Death Star. Maybe I'll have to go pick up that Death Star over there. The toy store. I don't want to, though. Damn. Uh, we got a wing that's come off of a TIE fighter. We got Obi Wan, Blue Saber. Chewbacca. Got some articulation in him. He can sit, stand, and move his arms. Arms are joined up, though, if they move at the same time. Perfect, but does not, or is not, in the right stead scale. Of the Millennium Falcon. Of course, we've got the Jawa Mobile. It's got wheels on the bottom. Uh, we've got a Hoth soldier. Possibly uh, that's uh, Han Solo, maybe, or Luke. Got kind of a little device in his hand. We have a droid. I'm not sure what this one's name is. Upper torso, bottom is missing. Maybe he's in here somewhere, but his arms move. Not the head, though. 
Another Darth Vader, slightly smaller. This one will do this cape move. He would fit in the ad ad. Like this guy right here. But he doesn't. But he would fit right there. See? Come on, Luke. I dare you. Come on. Yep. We got Greedo, nice with the gun. Uh, one arm moves, the other one does not, and he can sit, stand. And I don't know, but this kind of looks like either an old Leia or Luke Skywalker's stepmama. I don't know what that goes to. We got the Y Wing. It's got a little hole for your stand, the little clear plastic stand. Pretty cool. Of course, in the background, we got that jump man going. Oh. And we had a. There it is. I guess his sister and himself, they can just ride on there. On the uh, speeder bikes. He's just going to borrow a ride from her. And then he's going to jump. Imperial Guards. Different sizes. This one is just not going to move. It's a lot tinier. This one is going to move. He's got some articulation in the hip. Doesn't move backward, but he's got the sitting going on. He's got the force spike in his right arm. And he there can move his go. arms. That's pretty cool. We've like got a no one, and I think this is there from the video see. game, possibly a Dark Forces, a maybe. Kind of kind of but this guy purple. can move course, whatever this is, and it looks like it's been shellacked or something. He's shiny. Dang. But he can go in the sitting position. Boy, that is really sticky. I'm not sure I like it. But he's got a force pipe or some other type of deal here. Looks slightly different than the old traditional Imperial Guard. Pretty sure that's from Dark Crimson. Crimson Empire, probably. That's what that is. More than likely. We've got another one in the miniature form. One in the left hand, one in the right hand. Different positions of their arms. Yep, this is from the video game because that guy, I don't recall his name. I'm pretty sure he's from the PC game, Dark Forces. Num Num? Num Num? Is that his name? Return of the Jedi, co pilot for Lando Calrissian, Millennium Falcon, destroying the second Death Star. We've got a different Darth Vader. Again, this is going to belong with these guys because it's a smaller and not articulate version. Again, smaller again. And I'll be damned, that looks like Kylo Ren, but this is decades before Kylo Ren or the new movies came out. Maybe this is a wizard from another game. Do not know. Uh, this is a kind of a translucent, this is probably a ghost of uh, Obi-Wan. Don't have my glasses on that well, so it's either Obi Wan or maybe even Anakin when he's dead, but I doubt it. That's probably going to be Obi Wan ghost figure. Yeah, my goodness, we have C3PO really dark and dirty. He might need a bubble bath. I'm sorry, a lubrication bath. Oh, uh, Death Trooper, Stork, no, TIE Fighter Trooper. Got some articulation so we can get in this TIE Fighter. I don't know if they ever made a TIE Fighter that fits these guys. Zing, Lord Zing, not sure, but that's from the Dark Forces video game as well. Uh, this could be very well a Dark, I mean, a Luke Skywalker that's from the video game, Dark Forces. Got some articulation in his legs at the hip. And he's, oh, uh, this is from Return of the Jedi, and he's got the bone, and he's about to stick it in the, uh, see, oh, it. the big monster that is right here, jeez, I can't believe I can't remember his name, <clears throat> huh, 
But this guy. Oh, he's going to stick it there. And stick it in his mouth. So, jeez, what is his name? He did my homework. Can't even remember. We got the cloud car. Nothing special. It's got a little stand hole so you can sit on something. Looks like we have something. I don't know what's going on with that. That's a piece of something that goes to something. We'll put that there, but this is Han Solo. Our articulation in the arms and the hips with his legs. If he had the Millennium Falcon that size, he could sit in it. We've got a generic land speeder. Well, probably one from a, a New Hope. We got an A wing. It's got a stand vehicle stand in it also. I have no idea what this is. Probably from the video games. But it's kind of neat. It's got some writing on it, but I do not have my magnifying glass, so I don't know what it is. This is not C-3PO, but probably the medical droid or Jabba Palace droid that was uh, the torture droid. Looks like we've got mm, some person, male or female, I'm not sure. Because the Jedi, they did have the Padawans had that long hair or ponytail going on, but this is a female or male blue lightsaber one. I'm not sure who this is, but that's just another one. I was almost going to say Tarkin from the back, but maybe it had a lightsaber attached to it before and that was Luke. I don't know. Oh my goodness, is this? Nope. From uh, Return of the Jedi, we got uh, whatever they're called. They're on the cell barge. They do battle against Luke and Han and Chewbacca and uh, Lando. Nope, not Lando. Lando's disguised as one of their buddies. Han or Luke in disguise as a stormtrooper. There's just a lot of stuff you can do with these guys with the uh, playset. Oh. This is the new one that we had, the Hoth battle set. There's just a whole lot of cool things you can do. We've got the damaged or battle damaged ATSD. Another part we will put elsewhere. No articulation, and we're going to have to bend those legs up to make him be able to stand. Let's see here. Looks like Captain Tycho from uh, Phantom Menace, maybe, but I did not know they were making these in the prequel era. IG-88. Or IG-11, if you wish, for the Mandalorian. That is pretty cool. We've got Chewbacca, and he's got some individual... Uh, I think his arms are connected, yep. So you don't want to move them separately, probably. Legs move. Looking good. Right there in the cockpit. Han Solo. Another small, tiny version. Of this fella. Still over there. Uh, Luke Skywalker or some other Jedi in training. Or maybe not even the Jedi, but a green flavor. So, what is that? Episode 3, 4, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, possibly. Another tiny Vader. An Emperor. Kind of comical looking. Arms move, both of them together. Has articulation in his hips. You can sit down there with those guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Captain Tycho as well. From the Phantom Menace. I did not know they did the movies in the 90s and early 2000s. The prequels with Micro Machines. In that case, that might be. No, that's a chick. That's a lady. There's the cell barge, it looks like. Small one, that's pretty cool. Uh, Princess Leia in her uh, 
outfit when we're turning the jet on. I'm not going to get the name now because I do not remember. Uh, we've got some kind of droid or some kind of wild action going on right here. That's pretty cool. Maybe from the video game. We have us right here, the Bubba Fett. Sweet. It's our second Bubba Fett. Hmm. Second Bubba Fett? I'm pretty sure. I hope that's not the same Bubba Fett that I just moved around. Hmm. Uh, maybe Luke's mom, somebody that's really tiny, who knows. Generic figure. Leia in the Hoth uniform. Oh man, yep, definitely prequels. A battle droid. Is that not something else? I had no idea. That. I thought these were in the late 80s that they did these. Value nothing. More than likely. Oh, num num again. Neon num. And again. A little bit smaller. Maybe to sit in there. But not quite. They're going to have to blow this up a little bit bigger for him to fit in there. Man, look at this. We've got us. This one I really hate. Wampa. This one I really hate. Oh, yeah. This one here. I don't know. Somebody's not written. I've always, even when I bought it. Nothing written on the bottom, but arms dual move. Action at the hip. We've got a command center or something. We're going to put that over there with the other parts. That probably goes to the base here. If not, it might go to the other base that we have. They added all you. We've got another warrior that's from Return of the Jedi, bad guy. We have R2-D2, look at that. Mm. I'm wondering if we have Bubba Fett too soon? Just once? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what we have again. But here we have another set of cloud cars. This one looks bigger. It is darker color. I got another Princess Leia issue here. But, uh, I can barely read what they're saying. Number 66. 1990 or 1996? That's too many. 1994. 1996. 1990. I don't know what that's. I can't read it. But it's a lighter color. And this is the Star Crusher. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Looks like it might be missing the satellite dish down here. The focus is all its weapon power. Doesn't move. Doesn't have anything. Nope. Got a stand is, right there, is, so you can plastic sand it. This is it. I know. I they know. made. I think they made a couple copies of this because the other one has articulation in the guns. I think. It's got proton okay. torpedoes and cool. special uh, some kind of carbon knife right, proton right. torpedo that launches into the suns and destroys them. Uh, I love this. Planet Crusher, maybe something like that. that I think we either got a. It's not a gunk. Oh, that's the baby droid. Those are the little protocol, not protocol droids, but the ones that are running around and get scared real easy on the Death Star. And here we have Jabba's Palace. It's got four wheels. And I guess that would be for the man himself, or female, the it itself. Hell yeah, that's neat. And we got Max Rebo, or one of the guys from the Max Rebo band. In the next bag, Lando Calrissian in Return of the Jedi outfit. Another Greedo, a little bit lighter color, and he's smaller than the other version. Daddy! Daddy! Oh, leave me alone, son. Yeah. 
Tuscan Raider, small version. Tiny. But since this is the Max Rebo, or that's not Max Rebo, that's just one of the flutists. Max Rebo is the guy with the piano in him. Um, Empire Strikes Back. That's the thing that was, what are they called? Comment down below if you remember what their name is. They were sucking the energy out of the Millennium Falcon or eating it, destroying the metal. Right. Max Rebo, there we go, and he moves. Look at that. He, oh, okay, he comes out. We're just going to put him back there. I heard that those are not his hands, but his feet that he's playing with. Not sure how, oh my, oh, nah, I just destroyed him. We're going to lay him down in a position where I don't destroy him. Still oh, searching for They're leading up to find and if you read the comments, I guess there's a place that where this fits in properly. Right now. I'm going to lay him down. He goes there. Oh man, a smaller Java. Got his little buddy just like the big one does. Yes. This is Return of the Jedi. <coughs> and another Jabba? Oh, wow. We just inherited the whole bunch. That looks like a Cad Bane. What is that, Duskin? Species? But it looks like Cad Bane's type of people. I'm not sure. Oh, Lordy. The chick from the new edition. Special edition, I guess, right? Uh, Slave Leia, hello. She's just gonna sit right there. I'll discuss it. We got the guys from uh, Cloud City, Ugnot. Number tiny guys. We got Jabba's right hand man. Big ears. I, mean, a I have no idea who this is. It looks comical. And that's him again. Same way, same pose, same guy. Ooh, good morning, guard. Awesome. Another good morning, guard. Looks like, yep, same one. Little army builder of those. Mandalorian. There you go. Those are the guys for the Mandalorian. Another singer, uh, flutist for the band. A uh, third Gamorian guard. Uh, Wolfman <laughs> from the canteen scene. Wolfman. Alien. Uh, another one. Wow. Ugly head. But this is another guy from the uh, New Hope canteen scene. Some creature, I have no idea what one it is. We got the other singer, same singer, but another figure. And we got little critters that are outside Jabba's palace, I assume. Oh, man. I think we got some more in here. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, we got a lot more. It looks like a, the prequel, no, a New Hope special edition. We've got ships right here. Let's just check on the video to make sure we're good on time. Yep. Alright, let's see, right there. Alright, my legs are falling asleep. Jeez. Alright. 
forget the name of Ronto. Never mind. Remember the name. Little Jawa with the rope is holding him. Oh, that's pretty. Two Jawas. Wow. Two Jawas are holding down the Ronto. Rontosaurus. They've got little pegs. I'm not going to deal with that. Each one goes on each side. More Jawas. A Jawa that's affixed upon the Ronto. Uh, Ewok. Another Ewok. More Jawas. Jawas. Ewok. Uh, sort of dip. Spear. Stick. Darker stick. A club or a bow. More Jawas. Hmm. Uh, Got the iron pistol, iron blaster. Another Ewok. So we got Ewoks. Flying Ewok. Oh, here we go. Ewoks and Jawas are all in this collection, different times. If y'all want, we can do a video of these a little bit closer up. This is just a kind of a fast deal here. Trying to get it over with. I've been excited to get them out and show them. Oh, we got Admiral Agbar. Nice. Uh, Rebel Trooper. You get some Tantive. Uh, Princess with the big gun. Chewbacca with C-3PO on his back. C-3PO flying around the god C-3PO. And Return of the Jedi. Arms don't really move. A running uh, Leia, I guess. She's running. Chewbacca. Uh, Lando Calrissian, possibly. C-3PO with the one leg in his arm. Mm. Somebody with the speeder bike. Looks like it's the same size as... Oh, if I can't find that, then there you go. A little crooked, but... Yeah. Lando Calrissian, Cloud City. Wow. Looks like he's kneeling. I'm not sure. Maybe he's holding his throat? I don't remember him getting choked. But he looks like he's getting choked out by a dark. Another speeder bike. It's a little bit smaller. Imperial Rebel Soldiers. Lando again. Shabaka in the sitting position. Hoth Leia. I do not know who that is. Maybe Leia. Maybe a dude walking. Another rebel soldier. Uh, Han Solo. Han Solo again. Looks like Leia. Uh, wearing the mask, so that'd be Empire Strikes Back. Where they're on the asteroid and she's breathing in the stuff. Uh, breathing in oxygen. Han Solo again. These last batch of figures are from a different set because they do not articulate at all. And that's Chewbacca with C-3P on his back again, but less. it doesn't look as good, maybe. I don't know. It's different. Another Imperial Trip. I mean, a Rebel Soldier. Rebel Soldier. More Rebel Soldiers. This might have been for a board game. Attaché for the rebels <laughs> or medical. Chewbacca. Mm, maybe Luke. Luke Skywalker. Leia. 
A new hope. Really crazy the Han Solo. Number Rebel Trooper and Chewbacca. Uh, this is the Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi where he's practicing. So, what is that, Empire? Arms don't move, no articulation, but he's on the Dagobah training with Yacht Yoda and another version of it. Uh, this is B. Han Solo probably sitting down in the Falcon and another Lando. Calrissian. Now to the vehicles that we got. Ooh. We got the medical droid or a terror droid. I don't know. Oh, is that the robot? Doesn't move. No articulation. Cloud car. Light color. So this is going to be the 93, 94. Read about. 1984, 19, 1994, this is the, this is 1994, I don't know, this is darker, those are both the same color for, another speeder bike, we got, looks like Luke Skywalker maybe on uh, Cloud City fighting Darth Vader, Ooh, yeah. Slave one or slave two. The wings articulate. Nice. Jabba's barge. A little peg for it. One of the Star Destroyers. Victory class, I guess. Got a stand in it for the vehicle. Holder upper. Another Imperial Guard. Tantive 4. Oh, this is dirty. It needs a black bath. Got to stand for it to sit on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Scale is not right, though. That's one of the helmets. That looks like a helmet. Oh, that's nice. A little battle damage. It's missing the wing. Look at that one. That one. Okay. And we have a cool. Uh, uh, that is what I'm talking about. I made it all worth it. I don't know where the head goes like this. Legs do not move. It's probably for a board game. I don't know if that's micro machines or not. It goes on the bottom. Not sure. That's pretty cool. I think that's a Sky Tide Bomber. Maybe the Scout, but I think it's a Tide Bomber. Wild Wing. So we've got two Wild Wings. Little messed up. Yay, we got a Christmas tree. I guess this would be a Earth Day celebration from the holiday special tree. <laughs> we got another Princess Leia in disguise for Return of the Jedi. And her again on the speeder bike. Some kind of ship. I'm sure there's some backstory for that, but I guess from the book. Another Wild Wing. Got Darth Vader. Uh, some kind of droid. I'm not sure. It looks like probably from the uh, prequels. And it looks like somebody are going to ride a speeder bike, Leia or Luke. Arms move, looks like they're ready to jump on it. Again, TIE Fighter, that's complete. Cool. Another piece of some random equipment, we will save that for the pile. Emperor, tiny, tiny version. Bubba Fett, is that the same Bubba Fett? Or the Bubba Fett? There we go. Why did oh, yeah. backwards? What we might have us a couple of Bubba Fetts. He's got a different position here. He's like holding this. his arm up. That's cool. Articulation in the legs. This one, articulation in the waist. Waist. But the arms move on this one. The arms do not appear to move on that one. Darth Vader with his sword is broken. 
And that's the wing for our little guy here. We'll try to fix that later. Yep. Nope, might not fix that. Another X wing. So, this is a uh, Admiral Thrones ships or what? This is a. Uh, that's pretty cool. I did not know they made these. Scimitar. Uh, I don't know the name of the Admiral Thrones little special design ships. No, that's not it. This is something else. Comment down below if you know the name of what ship that is. I just can't remember. Now, as much Empire War as I played in the mods, I can't believe I don't recall. Maybe that's the ship for the uh, Mandalorians that they fly in. Or Zahn. Hmm. Tiber Van. We've got two more. There's like ETSCs. Limit. Yeah. Needs to be greased up a little bit, but they move. Legs move. Articulation there. And the heads do not move. And lastly, a tie fire. My legs are falling asleep, so I think we're going to be done. And y'all have a good one. If you like it, subscribe, like, and enjoy. Y'all have a good one.